Yeah, you know, what's that? Another stressful day for us Chelsea boys, eh? <laughs> Do you know what, Matt, though? You can have a look back over the last 20 years and think of all the amazing nights and days out you've had. Yeah. Think of me as a Spurs fan, mate. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, you haven't had none of them since the 60s. No, it? listen, no. come on. I'm, I'm 37, I've had three, all right? <laughs> Don't, you should uh, never set up a Chelsea car? fan about Spurs. I'm just trying to make You're you just, feel better. This no, he's, he's going to... Go on, I'm go that kind of guy. Uh, Sunday night uh, therapy. Uh, we, we don't want no pee from no Spurs. Oh, Matt, um, it was interesting to watch Chelsea today. Great goal to go two one up, and then, of course, letting it Mate, slip... But we do this all the time, mate. It's the it's the same problem. It's the same in-game management. Why is Potch taking off Modawaki who's getting a goal? Why is he taking off Cole Palmer? Like, I get bringing on Modric for minutes and stuff, but I think Modawaki was doing fine. Like, like, and as well, it's well, why are the players not clapping the fans at the end of the game as well? Only Cole Palmer, Modawaki, Thiago Silva and one other came out to clap us. And Chalabar. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, we just came all this way. Us playing now just proves to us that we don't know when our next points come are going to come. What we played twenty five minutes against Man United, do absolute unreal, and then we get what we haven't played that since. Like, like we weren't really playing it today. It's no consistent. Well, where was Potts today as well? Was he even on the sideline? I think he even saw the geezer. <laughs> you're, you're not having him, are you, Matt? Agent Potts. No, well, yeah, proper, yeah, proper, proper agent Potts at the moment. <laughs> Honestly, mate, he's actually doing everyone's nothing. And as well with all of us Chelsea fans, like, we're, like. We just want to, like, we're not even expected to win. And there's none of this. I'm sick of seeing as well online, Chelsea fans don't accept him because he's Spurs. No, it's not. We don't accept him. It's because he's making the club Spurs. He's bringing down the standards. Like, him saying, oh, this is not the same club from 20 years. Like, we should be happy with being in an FA Cup final. No, you need to go in. Like, the reason why we lost against Liverpool in the FA in the um, League Cup final is because they came out in them last 30 minutes to win the game and we came out for penalties. I will say, though, Matt, just to, just to go back on that, and this the whole point of us having a discussion, is Chelsea, uh, back in February, became the first Premier League team in English football history to lose six consecutive domestic cup finals. The Blues were beaten 1-0 by Liverpool in extra time, of course, in this year's Carabao Cup and final. So five, so five before weren't Potch. So only one out of the six is making you Spursy. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, no, it's not even just that. But when we played against Liverpool and Tuchel and that, like we were mad competitive in them games. Arguably, like what a what an offside that um, wouldn't even be an offside now to stop someone. But League you could have won final. that Carabao Cup final. You, you yeah, came close with Gallagher. Oh, oh, what's that? Say again. Gallagher came close in that game. I thought he was unlucky. To be fair, in in ninety minutes. Yeah, no, no, we were unlucky in the ninety minutes. But then we took our foot off the. On the we, we had our foot on their throats, and then we just took it off and let them get back up. Uh, Pards, um, off the back of, of what Matt's saying, and it was a great call, thank you, Matt. Um, what type of week has it been for Poch and Ten Hag? They've been under fire from their own supporters all season. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's Chelsea fans to... ain't having Poch. None of them are. Not well, that I've spoken to. They're on a they're on a kind of decent little run at the moment, though, aren't they? You know, I, I don't know uh, the exact stats, but you know, I know that you know their form has been okay. I mean, I, I still worry. I, and 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 I don't think you can actually judge any manager who went into Chelsea this year. You can't really judge him and say he's this, he's that, because it's just been a mess. The team wasn't formed. It wasn't no real kind of thought process behind the buy players they were buying. They got too many players in certain areas who are not getting a game. They got I don't know how many players out on loan. They must have ten players out on loan, maybe fifteen, twenty. I don't know. You know, and it's it is a bit of a mishmash. He's got together what looks like to me a sort of good young midfield striker type team, but the back four is missing. They're they're all injured. He's got a second string back four in, and that shows. And that's why they're inconsistent. I think that's the biggest problem. They need to get some stability at the back, which they haven't had all year. Yeah.